spread the word, but I mean, if you look at this shot here, this camera shot, it doesn't even give you the full idea of how many people are actually in this venue right now and how many more people will come later uh, in terms of later stage of the tournament. This isn't even the main stage, this is stage D, man. So this is like, this is tiny compared to what's in the other one. WCG 2013 a Grand Final. Jumping into our first and only game on the Alright, so players seem to be ready. Right, here we go. H Isles 2 is our map. Elegant versus Moon Night Elf Mirror. Game is started and Moon is AFK. No, 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 no. Not ready. Not oh ready. my goodness. So I think we may have a oh. loss here at the very least. Not good. And uh, you know, Moon actually his English is pretty good, despite the fact that he is Korean. He lived or he's traveled a lot. I don't think he actually ever lived in China, but he definitely has played a lot of tournaments Absolutely. over here. He's got a huge following in China. He's traveled everywhere, man. But he, he's he's a very very shy person. You can never almost get any English out of him. Uh, what, I, what I heard from a lot of people is that he was known in Warcraft 3 as being a player who, no matter how jet-lagged everyone else was, he just wasn't. Like, he would just show up and play and win any tournament, no matter what was in Europe, whether it was in America, or, you know, oftentimes in Asia, he would just show up and win it. He would just do it. Fifth race. He's just, he's just like an alien to us. Yeah. He's just something else. Yeah. It's always shown in his gameplay. Hopefully they restart the game because Moon missed out on a lot of Yeah, he missed time. some mining time there for sure. I think there will definitely be a restart. Uh, and yeah, it looks like hovering over the end game there. And there you go. We're just going to have a regame. Um, so no no, <laughs> no fretting to be had there. Thank goodness for that. Oh, the Warcraft 3 client. I miss those chains going up and down. You, uh, you hear those chains, man. You know. like I miss, I miss land. <laughs> uh, yeah, land. God bless land. And I think we're actually using land here at the venue as Absolutely. it is. Absolutely. And um, <laughs> there's so many people waiting here for this match to start. I'm actually so hyped. You know, I was never a professional Warcraft 3 player or even a high level player like, like you were. So, you know, for me, it's a little bit newer, but still feels so exciting just to be here. It's such, and an, interesting, fans. such an interesting game, man. Uh, we never really got like a. We never really. Well, back in the day, it wasn't just nearly enough exposure, and enough, enough people appreciating the game. It's 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 so hard to to watch this game without playing it because there's so many things going on and so many spells and right. so many abilities. So it's uh, you know a lot of the era of success in esports comes from availability of broadcast, right? And for Brood War, there was the Korean scene where you had it on television. For Warcraft Three, online streaming wasn't quite very popular, right? At, at that time, it was first being started around then, so it was, it was tough for that scene to explode. Yeah, it was and pretty much no one was streaming back then, so like no one could really get an idea of what's going on yeah. in the scene. And, and that, and I feel like that really hurts a game. I'm so happy that now in 2013 we have everything is so easy to live stream. You can live stream from your house, you know, whatever game you're playing, you can stream your Xbox or your PlayStation 3 easily, and, and there's so much more open media, so I, I'm really sad, actually, for, for players like Moon, for example, who've been in the scene for so long that he's not as known as he could be, although he is probably as popular as it gets in China for uh, Warcraft 3 I would player. have to say so. And the China scene is still so, uh, still so alive, you know. With the perfect example is having Shishi and Elegant here, like, two new, like, up-and-coming players. Yeah. Like, they're actually still producing players here, like, nowhere else in the world will you see that. Exactly, like, people are still playing this game and trying to learn it and become one of the best, like, aspiring pros for this game that's been around for so long. You don't really even have that in Brood War anymore. There are some small, uh, you know, tournaments in Korea, like the Sonic Star League, for example, but there's no aspiring pros for that scene because yeah. it's so small. That's right. We have in China, these people are still wanting to play the game, spending so much of their time learning it, and they're coming because they have all these crazy fans that just want to see them here in Kunshan. It's not about the online viewers. It's not about the money. They just love the game, and they love the fans, and that's why they're playing. It's a beautiful thing, man. It's, the way we, it's, it's what we all did. It's why we all started, because we just loved the game exactly. so much. We played so much of it that we just happened to get good at it. That's so true, man. I, can't say, I, I can honestly say that I didn't really go into Warcraft 3 planning to be good at it, but I played it so much, and I loved it so much, and I got to that stage and embraced it. Yeah, there's always, when you start to play a game and, and you start beating all of your friends, there's the moment where you like take it online. You're like, all right, well, I beat everybody I know. Now I'm going to play online. You start beating those people, and you realize, I'm good at this. I'm not the best. And you find out about who is the best, and you just aspire to be them. 
Absolutely. And these are these players on the screen right now. I know there are fans in this crowd thinking, you know, Warcraft 3 is an old game, but I still want to get into this. I want to play this. I'm watching these guys on the screen. They've inspired me to continue to play the game, and I'm pretty good. I want to get better. Yeah. It's, a, it's just a shame that it's the last game for, uh, or the last tournament for this game. Yeah, and, it's, uh, it's actually, it, it's sad, but it's a beautiful thing, it really is. I'm I'm so happy that I get to actually be here with you, a former Warcraft 3 Pro, commentating it. It's it's an honor to give it a send-off, I must say. Yeah. Alright, it looks like Moon is ready for real this time. <laughs> and uh, Ancient Isles 2 is our map, as mentioned before, Night Elf Mirror. And let's get into it. Mind, so the game will continue on. Life training here, and we've got Moon Swine at the bottom right, just to clarify that for everybody. And at the top left is Elegant. They're both going uh, Ultra first, so no, no Tavern place yet. So be the heroes, most likely Demon Hunter is always the, uh, the, the most standard hero for this matchup. Yeah. On rare occasion, we might see a Priestess of the Moon or something funky from the Tavern, but not this time. It doesn't look that way. And both of them kind of just putting their ancient war near the, the starting creeps, and then they're going to quickly creep that once they've made an archer. And um, now they'll tank it with the ancient war, just kind of uh, buffer the damage so they don't damage any of their units, and proceed from there. To either creep to level two or harass. We'll have to wait and see what they plan. Yeah. Um, this map. Can you tell me a little bit more about how this map plays out? It doesn't seem like it's a very big map. It's not a big map indeed. It is actually one of the smallest maps, and. Um, uh, you, there's a number of things you can do on this map. I mean, they have like the mercenary camps, so you can uh, get mercenaries, which can be useful in certain matchups. This one, not so much. It kind of depends on the strategy they go for in tier two. This is, uh, there's, a, there's a few strategies you can go. You can either go like fast expansion into mass like mass units in tier two. You can go, uh, you can go mass roots of the talon and kind of just go for cyclone in tier three and keep their enemy heroes in the air. Or you can go for uh, kind of like the uh, druid of the claw tech in tier three and. Um, it's kind of just going for like really heavy damage, Demon Hunter, and Rejuvenation uh, and Dryads. So we'll see what, what progresses. Uh, and I mean, this is obviously the early game right now, so things are just kind of getting set up. A whole lot of harassment. The player's forces are under attack. Start poking with that archer, as you mentioned before. He has to make sure that he actually gets it himself. We'll have to last the archer on the demon hunter once it's out. We'll just check the archers right now, see the gameplay, what we're gonna do. Uh, so, what's he gonna do? Always for the help, so, for the help yeah. of the makes it a lot easier for us, thank god. Okay, yeah. So now we can always see exactly how low they are and not be uh, stressed out that hard next. So they need some more tanking here. Like you said, these make sure to get that last hit, and there's a little more to get the last hit. So ring of protection plus Players two armor. It's not too bad. It's not the best item you can get. The best item would be uh, claws of attack, I think, at this stage, or uh, boots of agility. I'm not sure what uh, what elegant got. We'll have to find out. It yeah. looks like Moon's gonna creep right into uh, level two, and uh, elegant's gonna do the same. In Killing only one. But elegant actually going for a very ballsy creep. That's a hey, he's actually oh, he's going for it. And that could be risky if Moon decides to be aggressive. Um, yeah, and actually, I mean, this is the type of style that against a legend like Moon, if you can actually have the force to do this, you can get really ahead, and he's gonna actually get away with it. He's gonna do it too, but uh, he's doing it a bit more safer, getting to uh, level 2 first. And um, Elegant's items are actually a great deal better. He got Claws of Attack plus 6 and Gloves of Haste, so he's gonna be a lot more damage when they finally engage. And this goes back to what you were saying. Getting really low. Oh, yeah. For him. That is an insane mistake. You cannot, you cannot be doing that at WCG, man. No. That is. I, I, really, really I mean, I was watching this as thinking that, you know, he must actually know something I don't. Like he's, he's gonna be fine. I think. You know, I, I, was, I was telling myself that. Well, I was telling myself he's gotta get out of there now because he cannot be doing this creep and at this HP, like. Elegant times dot dot in the chat. He's as confused as we are. Yeah, he's just like, what is going on here? What? What happened, man? This and is a massive mistake. Like, I mean, this is basically this is actually game ending, potentially. It could very well be, man. If he gets if he gets wisp kills here and starts really uh, delaying the tech, 
this could, uh, this could definitely be game. I mean, Elegant is just walking in here saying, I cannot believe you are... Dust. Are you Moon? Like, you are you the famous player I've heard so much about? Because right now, this seems like a joke. Yeah, this is just a critical mistake. Yeah, critical mistake. And he's using all the Moon Wells healing, so... Yeah. Uh, for the day two, it's going to be a lot more difficult for Moon to, to really... He's uh, using a lot of his resources, exactly. Like, the healing for Night Off is so precious because it runs out so easily, and he's using it all on Archers. Yeah. He's barely hanging on here. I mean, he will survive, but at what cost, essentially? The cost of all his moon worlds. <laughs> and I'm uh, pretty sure he might get that Archer, but that's about it. Oh, nice actually pulls away at the last second, saving it. Actually, that's incredible he might micro. Save it, but at the same time, that's he's all, lost so much. He lost all his uh, all his moon worlds. All his moon well healing, and he's still using it. So. For, t for, for day two, it's going to be a lot harder. And Naga is out for Elegant already, which is very standard second year. I'm sure Moon is going to go for the same. Moon with five archers to Elegant's uh, pretty much zero at the moment. I think he might have one on the map somewhere. Scouting that expansion, I think. Oh, please, um, and, uh, I think Elegant's going to go for kind of like tier two buildings cancel. He's just waiting for that time to run in and start canceling uh, Ancient of Wind because Moon had not been a hunter's So uh, he's definitely going to be Ancient of Wind. Is going to be Matt's Druid of the Talon, essentially. Still harassing that Wisp here, does take it down, and right now for Moon, this is going to be so frustrating. What, what do you think caused that mistake? Like, was it just simply him overextending? Like, he, he thought he could do more than he actually was capable yeah, he, of? Or? He, was not, he was just not watching, probably, I think. He was just really uh, focused on something else? Yeah, he, was, he must have been, because well, he was just taking such a chance, like, really hoping, like, his evasion would like trigger more than once yeah, and kind of keep him alive. But it's, it's such a small percentage chance at level one, so it's not good. But uh, at the same time, elegant going through for tier three with pretty much nothing. So Moon's push is actually quite possibly going to do some damage here. Yeah, it looks like it. I mean, it's driven back. I mean, it's it's, it's six arches to none. Uh, but looks like Moon is going to pull back. Uh, looks not like he's going to maybe. Do the uh, do the merchant and players yeah, go for his agent yeah, to win. Yeah, go goes for, for it. Cyclone, essentially. Yeah, and he's even with this push, he's he's got you know for a moment taken the attention away on Elegant. Elegant had to deal with that pressure, and so Moon just trying to do anything he can to to get back into this. And he is actually up here at the top right, but Elegant is chasing. This could be a, this is actually going to be a huge creep jack here, and uh, it's going to be just like, too much damage. Elegant going in. Oh, this be, uh, he goes pretty low good. here, actually. Oh, he's getting way too low. He needs to. He had a potion, but okay, he had a potion, so he's gonna he's gonna live out, but he's still gonna get out of there, and Moon can pretty much resume creeping if he wants to. Well, this is really good for Moon. As it turns out, if he can actually take him down here, well, soft preservation so gets him Moon. So, uh, very good save. He hasn't taken too much damage. He could turn around and creep, but it uh, looks like he's just going to play it safe. And one, one huge advantage of uh, Elegant at the moment is he simply has not made any archers. He's saved all his money for tier 3, so... Yeah, he's, he gets he's, that playing, stage, yeah he's playing greedy, but it, it could pay off. Yeah, well, so far, it's, it's done really well, and if he can continue to harass Moose, so Moon can't actually creep with these extra units, uh, he's going to be really ahead. Pick off an archer by the looks of it, but he should want to stick around and take too much damage. Yeah, it seems like Elegant's playstyle here is to just be as aggressive as possible, wait till the last second, and then pull out. And uh, he's trying to pressure that way and fight against Moon, despite the fact that Moon has more archers than he does, and just make sure that he can get away and save all his money, like you said. Absolutely. Both players now tier three, and Moon picked up a, uh, an orb of venom. An orb kind of gives you the ability, uh, a melee hero, the ability to hit air, as well as uh, do whatever the orbs. Uh, uh, effect is, and this one a for instance, does uh, damage over time. Uh, very, very useful. Just a little bit more farming here. And Moon just... Would you say Moon has stabilized here? I'd say he's reasonably stabilized. Um, I think he's still kind of at a disadvantage, and Elegant's going to really push it before uh, Master Druid of the Talents has been researched. He's going to use Rejuvenate. And, uh, and pretty much just start engaging start trading units and use his stuff preservation to get the bears out. Big engagement here. Actually this is getting pretty low. Yeah, this is actually a bit dangerous. He's hiding and now he's very low. He heals. Uh, 
that bear needs to get out of here, and that TK is actually going to take him out and gets the bear out, so this is a beautiful play by Elegant. And he's gonna pretty much push him into the base, but I, I don't think he wants to commit that far. Not with the trees. Yeah, not with the trees there. He's gonna walk away, but still, I mean, he's he's actually taken so much early damage here. Though, that is, and he gets really well with it. And uh, as you can see, there is no healing on his moonwalk whatsoever, and that was from the harassment. Yeah, and I mean, if you keep putting the pressure on like this, it starts to take its toll. Absolutely, he's got uh, he's got all the time in the world to keep doing this. I mean, it's only halfway through the day, so he's he's not gonna have like his moonwalls rejuvenating until uh, until much later. And I think um, he's just gonna keep pushing it. And I can't blame him. I mean, uh, the map is small for it. You continue to pressure like this, and he's just taking all the. He has an early lead and he's running with it. He's continuing to press. He's not giving Moon any time here. He actually goes for the H and win. He's taking a lot of damage now. Half health now. It looks like it will actually fall. And that's a big kill. I mean, that's half his Druid of the Town now. Um, there it is. It's gone. And it looks like he does have Cyclone. He's, he's got Master Druid of the Town now. So he's gonna. He can definitely engage Venus. But, uh. Players it looks like, yeah, it looks like he really wants to kill that Naga. I think Rejuvenation can go up. Keep him alive for a little bit longer. Very close, man. Oh, like he made escape here. He's dead. So oh, so oh, he's gonna turn around and kill the DH. Oh. oh my goodness. And this has just gone from bad to worse, right? I oh, mean, so badly. Uh, so now Team Hunter is down and Moon, I mean, can, is there any way for him to come back here? It looks like very unlikely. I'm gonna say there's a very, very slim chance right now. Uh, this, he's got no healing at home. He's only got a few units and this army is just it's like Ron on his doorstep, he's not waiting. And, it's, and he's killing the altar, which is, if he kills that, then there's just no hope, there's no DH. Uh, and that DH of uh, Elegance is just going to keep pressing the army, keeping the damage, forcing him to cyclone him, keep him out of the way, while he takes down that, uh, that altar. And that uh, you can see on Moon's face the frustration, there's the GG. He is not a happy chappy, and I can't blame him losing a DH to creeps, man. I, I can't imagine how Elegant feels right now. You know, he took a pretty straightforward and, and easy victory against someone who's a legend. Yeah. Not only worldwide, but especially in China here. And he's a newer player, an unknown player, an up and coming, and he was able to beat Moon in Honestly, a big tournament in front of a live I think audience. I would be happy with that win either, because he won because of Moon's silly mistake, and uh, that's, that's not nearly as satisfying. Yeah, it's definitely not going to be satisfying. That That's well said. Um, but at least he could be happy that he was able to take out Moon because he was probably stressing a little bit knowing who his opponent was. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, every win counts so much in this best of one format. So. Really got a feel he's, for Moon. He's going to be kicking it, man. He's going to be angry as hell right now. Yeah, he's... Uh, I mean, like you said, he, he could have been It could have been. he thought the evades were going to proc on the, in the early game there. But maybe, he was having a, maybe he was having an issue. Who knows, man? Maybe he could click away. Yeah, I mean, he did actually force the game to be restarted. Maybe he didn't have his settings perfectly set up, and he just went in anyways thinking he could do it. Um, or maybe, you know, he since he had asked for that pause, they told him he couldn't ask again, so there was nothing he could do. Uh, didn't have his gear set. Maybe he had a keyboard problem. Something went wrong there. That was not the moon that we know and love. Uh, Very true, man. Very true. So that is going to be it for this Warcraft 3 broadcast, and both of us will be joining you a little bit later.